Okay, we're going to get you all fixed up. Operation fence the chickens out of the garden, huh? You need an extra hand? Eight? Eight extra hands. You're like an octopus. Why are y'all so nosy? Tight. Yeah, the bottom is tight, yeah. Low enough? Yeah, it's to the floor. The floor. The ground. So fancy with your little wooden tool. Where you learn all this? Google? YouTube? Yeah. All of it. Social media. Where is that boy? R slow down! Something get your butt! Or are you just having a fit? Time to get your butt. What did you drop one? <clears throat> you don't even need me for this project. What do you say? I said you don't even need me for this project. Oh, yes, Look at you go. <laughs> No. I just asked him if he was bored and if he needed something to do, he could clear out some um, some trees over here on the side yard. Surely he's not bored. I don't know what these trees are. You see these little with the pink thingies? They're not mimosa trees. I know they look like it from far away, but they're not. But they shade out all the hardwoods in here. I call them monkey trees. Don't ask me why. That's just what I call them. And they just, they take over. They're, they grow like weeds. I mean, literally, they'll drop seeds and like, it'll grow five foot tall in like a year. There's one right there. Ooh, gracious.
beautiful. You see, they grow all wonky at the base and lean over. They just make a mess. Let's see. I think all. I think all of those are. Let me move. Don't break my magnolia tree, Lord have mercy. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. Oh, and right on my hydrangea. That's okay. It's all right. Oh, okay. I'll move. Oh, it's gonna open it up. It's gonna be so nice. See what I mean? Here's one right here. I guarantee you that thing dropped like last week. They grow so fast. And then the roots are so, I can't even pull it out. Let me find a little one, a little sit. There they are. I think that's what the, oh, where to go? I think that's what that is. Oh, oh. better watch my noggin. There's another one. That's how fast they grow. This probably dropped yesterday. I ain't even kidding. Where'd you go? Are you hiding? It's okay. You gotta get used to these outside noises. <laughs> Bless her heart, she's hiding in the litter box. Poor baby. She's one of the kittens from down yonder. I didn't mean, well, I didn't mean to bring her here because we certainly don't need any more cats. But um, I rehomed a couple of the kittens and I brought her as like a placeholder for each kitten that I would bring home. She was like the one to keep it company. So I wouldn't bring one at the time and they'd you know, be alone in the bathroom or whatever by herself. But nobody wants her. So she just, she ended up being like placeholder kitty. <laughs> and now she's been here so long, I feel bad taking her back down there. She probably done forgot who they were. So I'm trying to get her used to being outside here and um, get my outside kitty cats to take her in. Just what I need. Cat. I just had a panic attack because maybe not a panic attack. Close. Because ow! Is that, a sp is that the spider? Something just bit me. Is that my imagination? Could be both. Maybe a little bit of both. I just walked through a spider web. Ooh. Is it on me? Ah, what? I think it's my imagination. I'm gonna have to video the back of me and then go back and watch this video to make sure there's nothing there. <gasps> now my wagon is stranded. I can't go back over there. <laughs> <gasps> Give me a snake any day, but don't you dare put a spider in my path. You know, I better not say that because I'm working in the woods. Now I'm going to step on a dad lane snake. It's not what I meant. It's not what I meant. I was going to keep, oh, this tree because I think it's so pretty. And I was trying to figure out what it was. Google says it's a mulberry tree. I thought mulberries were on bushes, but maybe it's wrong. Either way, the bottom got scuffed, so. 
Gotta go. I ain't gonna survive. I got tired of picking up limbs. So I switched to plucking Japanese beetles off my plants. Look at all this. Disgusting. Y'all don't even try to live. Stop. Let's see if the chickens will eat them. The chickens would not eat my bucket full of Japanese beetles. So I just let them drown. But I did clean out the chicken coop slash bee place slash cow place. Have I ever given you a tour of the chicken coop? I don't know. Maybe. Let's start from the beginning. So you walk in and that's our deep freezer. Uh, why am I pointing to the sign? This is where we store like bee stuff, yard tools, whatever. And then you walk through here and this is chicken coop. I wish I, hold on, let me see if I can zoom out. Well that's a little better. Check that out. So Oh, that'll make you dizzy. Walk through here. Chicken coop. We got the food bins. Behind this door. We got a baby pen. For the little birds. And then. And here we got the main coop. And then. <clears throat> my voice went away. And then over here we have another little coop. I just cleaned out the geese were in here, so it was a disgusting mess. Um, but I'm probably, I put the geese outside. So I'm probably going to move these babies into this coop so they can start seeing the chickens and get acquainted. Let me show y'all one of these chickens though. Hold on. I got him as a free chicken with my order, so and I threw the paperwork away. He's got feathers on his feet, he's got all these colors, and he also bites, so I'm putting him back. Brat. He just bit the snot out of me. I don't know what kind of rooster he is. Clearly a mean one. I don't think we're gonna get along. Um, I got the geese, so. The, the little. Let me start over. I got five geese. Then I ordered three more geese. Well, the five geese had already grown so much that when I got the three geese, they were picking on them, the babies. The big geese were picking on the little geese. So they've been separate and they don't really hang out. Well, I tried to put everybody in the goose pen, which is in this back section back here. That's all my junk from cleaning the chicken coop. So the geese stay in this far back section. So I tried to put the baby goose baby geese in with the big geese tonight last night and they attacked them so the geese also attacked the chickens however these three baby geese that I got are nicer than the original big geese <laughs> keep up now um so I I put them in the chicken run and if the chicken oh see well there they go okay oh did he just get stuck in the... His beak just got stuck in the wire. It is a zoo. It is a zoo around here. <laughs> Where was I in my goose story? Anyway, the geese chase the chickens, but with the geese being in the chicken run, the chickens can roost up on these little roosty things and go inside the coop if they want to to get away from the geese. 
I hope you got all that. My finger still hurts. Come on. Rude. Y'all better get over here. I ain't taking that food bowl over there. Come on. Why are y'all being stubborn? Come on. Oh, mama. Hush. Finish eating. <laughs>